Hello everybody, my name is Gatamo, welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, boys. We're in part two. I was kind of tempted to change scenarios uh, since the first part was just me showing you guys uh, how to play the game properly. But uh, I think I'm just going to roll it with what I got. Uh, I am I am kind of interested in what I've got with uh, Miss Elizabeth and everything, right? We went for her as a manager, so I'm kind of intrigued. I still... Uh, don't really know what to go for in terms of like her equipping with uh, equipping her with somebody so equip Had a, a relationship. Let's see what we got. Hold on. Does she already have a relationship with anybody? Doesn't seem like uh, uh, Like it so what we can do is just add a relationship uh, Miss Elizabeth full-time manager. Let's find out who we want to put her with uh, I don't exactly know like Jake Roberts could be a good one because Jake Roberts has some history with her, I guess, right? With a, uh, like some former feuds and stuff like that. But I'm thinking like if an up-and-comer up like Trish Travis maybe could be a good one. But I don't think a female manager with a female wrestler is going to uh, go too well, boys. I feel like they should uh, go separately on that one. I feel like it's just for male, it's better. Uh, just for the attraction part. I think I'm just gonna go for I Actually really don't know boys. Ric Flair has some mystery and Jake Roberts as well I don't want to go for the old timers though. I want to go for somebody that is young Kind of and has like a lot of years uh, Still uh, up and coming, you know, I kind of want to do it I kind of want to do Trish Stratus. So we're gonna do Trish Stratus boys for now. We're gonna equip her to that uh, talent. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So you can bring her to multiple talent right now uh, Miss Elizabeth's just gonna manage Trish uh, Trish Stratus. Does she have an actual alignment? She does. She's a heel and what is Trish Stratus? Is she a heel? She's a heel as well. All right, so it, it is working out perfectly. That's great. That's great. Good. So uh, Yeah, Trish Stratus got a, a, a partner or somebody to train with right now boys. She's got a manager, so that's fantastic. So I think we're good on that part. We don't have anything to do in April. Obviously, Barely uh, Legal is our next pay-per-view. Let's jump on to it. Uh, figure out what our, I guess, our moves are going to be. What our matches are going to be. Uh, we already have a feud going on between uh, Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero, boys. One out of five stillness for feuds is what you're going to see a lot. Uh, this basically uh, in the month, right? Um, how long uh, the, uh, it's, it's lasted. But the stillness is the important part. Uh, you want to make sure that the stillness gets as low as possible. Stays as low as possible. If it gets in the middle of it. So let's say if it gets at 2.5. Then um, I'm going to end it up. So I'm going to blow off the feud. Which means it's end, ending the feud. Right? The only way you can do that. It's either by canceling out the feud, which is pretty bad. You don't want to really want to do that. You want to do it manually uh, during a fight and stuff like that. So that's much better. Uh, what we're going to do, our fight, our ECW Heavyweight Champion, it's, uh, it's uh, Ric Flair, of course. Now, we uh, did do a, a, a multiple match, a uh, man match, I think, last time, right? Triple threat or something. This time around, we got a, he's a neutral we can pick up anybody we want, basically. Now, I feel like we should probably pick up somebody that's having a good time right now, that's having, like, uh, some wins right here. So I think I'm going to pick up uh, Sting for that one, boys. I'm going to pick up Sting. That's what I'm going to do. It's a big one. So I want to have, like, uh, a big stuff going. So we're going to do Ric Flair and Sting together. We're going to start a feud between these two, uh, big time. And uh, next stop, we're going to make sure that I get the television part uh, correct. Let's just uh, put Steve Austin, Kurt Henning, and uh, Ricky Steamboat up against each other, boys. It's, uh, it's going to be a triple threat. We're going to do that. Uh, that uh, match is going to determine who's going to be the number one contender, basically, for the heavyweight championship next. That's basically how it's going to work, uh, work out, all right? So uh, who's going to face off against... Uh, uh, Ric Flair or something like that uh, once it's uh, I guess done right so next up I think Eddie we're, we want to go in the same direction Eddie's already got like uh, a feud going on with uh, Chris Benoit so we're going to do that feud we're going to move it up 
We're going to continue that feud. We're going to do Jake Roberts, Rob Van Dam, and Trish Stratus up against each other. So that's that's going to be the lineup. That's what we're going to do for this, uh, for this pay-per-view right here. First thing we're going to do right here, though, is uh, add a gimmick, add a feud. For Sting versus Ric Flair, we're going to add a feud. Uh, which one do we want to do? We could do old versus champion, which is going to be a retirement. Uh, old and mask, retirement or unmasking. Uh, I don't know where that could be. Uh, that could lead. Sting is, doesn't have a mask on or anything, so I don't think that would work, boys. Uh, face of the company, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do best in the world. Who's the best in the world between these two? Okay, so that's done. We also are going to have gimmick matches for every single matches, basically. Because we have we are in April, so it's a big preview for me. Uh, first thing we're gonna do: mask versus hair. I'm not gonna do that. Mask versus mask. That's I'm not gonna do these. I'm not gonna do these right here. I'm just gonna do still sell, right here. Boom. There we go. Uh, this guy right here. He's gonna get TLC match. Well, I don't think you can get a TLC match, right? No, you you gotta have a, a championship match in order to do that. So I think uh, I think I'm gonna equip this this one. This one is gonna have a, a TLC match. Hold on, there we go. A TLC match for Eddie versus uh, Chris Benoit. This one is gonna have uh, what do I want? Uh, a steel cage match. Absolutely. All right, steel cage match for this one. And uh, the first match of uh, of the pay per view. Uh, we're gonna just uh, keep going down, basically, boys. So we're gonna do unsanctioned match. For these uh, three guys. So let's see how it's going to work out. Hopefully it's going to work out well. We all three uh, obviously want to go and do some uh, segments as well. So we do want the main event package. We're going to bring it up in here. Uh, next up as well. What do we want? We want the event package. Or basically the promo. I think I'm just going to do a uh, feud package right here. Where is it at? There we go. Feud package boys. Uh, we're going to do this one. That, that one right here. That's the one I want to do. We're going to boost that feud up uh, between Eddie and uh, and Chris right there. We're going to boost, boost the feud up. It's going to get the ratings up and everything for that match, which is fantastic. Exactly what we want, boys. I think I'm good. I've got everything going on. Plus five of hype. We're going to see how much hype, uh, more hype we're going to get from uh, all these things that we just uh, did. Uh, hopefully, it's going to good uh, good matches and in, in all. I really hope so. Let's just hop on in and uh, see how the fans are going to react, boys, to this one. All right, first, uh, second event, barely legal. You can see right here. I'm just going to get off my mouse from the screen really quick just to make sure that uh, I get like a screenshot and everything good. All right, so that's done. Uh, fan interest is on par, par, so they're very interested in all of this. Let's go ahead and go into the predictions, boys. That's what we're gonna, this is going to tell me what the fans want. So I'm just going to take a picture really quick. That's usually what I do. Take a picture of the uh, predictions and I go on uh, on what they want exactly from that. So we can move on and let's start the, uh, the, the event right here. So first match, Trish Stratus, Rob Van Dam, uh, Jake Roberts. Who's the most popular right now? I'd say it's definitely Rob Van Dam. Now, did they get a win? They're all losers right now. They all have a, a loss. To their record, uh, they want Jake. Their fans want Jake Roberts to win. That's an interesting one. Definitely interesting. I don't know exactly if I should do for him at his age and everything. Work rate is not that good. I kind of want to go for somebody that's really good right now, right? That has the work rate and the charisma up in there, so that people are really happy about it. But since Trish got a like a new manager and stuff, I don't know. You know, I could, I kind of wish I could uh, push somebody. So there is one thing I'm going to do is every time there's a big pay-per-view coming. So every three months as well, I'm going to have a new guy being uh, a new person being pushed, basically uh, pushed to the, the, the stratosphere, basically. So I'm going to, I'm going to be pushing Trish Stratus here uh, until the next big pay-per-view. She's going to be the one who's being pushed a uh, big time. So I'm giving her the wins right here. Uh, it's fine because she's got two and two of work rate in, uh, in uh, characters. So let's see how it ends. Three star match. All right. It's not too bad. Uh, I don't know exactly like content from happy. These guys, they're going to need to be a little bit more happy, I think. 
Yeah, I think uh, Trish Rogers was a, uh, the best option probably right here. Let me see their morale. They're kind of all the same. So I think Trish Rogers was the best option. Not a really good match, but a, 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 a decent one nonetheless. Feud package. Uh, that's going to help us out. So it focused on the ring highlights of the previous one. There we go. Three and a half, uh, four and a half star boys for the feud. So that's really good. It hypes up the uh, the this paper uh, or this match right here. Let's see if Eddie can uh, conserve his title right here. Uh, retains. All right. So the the guy uh, the the fans want him to retain his title. I would kind of be tempted to do that as well. The problem is, is Chris Benoit happy enough? He's got 64 of morale right now. He should be all right. He should be all right. Uh, I'll um. I'll just simulate it true. Can I add a finish? I can. Uh, yeah, I think I can add a finish as well. We're going to do it. We're going to add a screw job finish, boys. And uh, Eddie's the heel, right? Yeah. Let's get Eddie to win via screw job. Big time. There we go. We got an injury, though. That is not good. All right. So five star because of that screw job. And they had some blood in the match. That's fantastic. Uh, we had a really good match. So five star uh, match right here. That's going to really help out everything uh, Eddie conser uh, conserves his title I guess uh, now we could vacate the title because he got injured we gotta wait uh, before I vacate the title I want to wait and see how many how long he is out for right I, I need to wait for it uh, otherwise uh, we're gonna be good so the the feud between these guys is really big uh, big right now and uh, so we're good uh, everything's going up TLC matches is going up good Third, uh, third match. Let's see what we got. Triple trade still cage match between uh, Stone Cold, Ricky, and uh, Kurt. Let's see what we got. So who do we want? Who do the fans want to win right now? They want Mr. Perfect to win. Interesting. What's he got the more than the other ones? Okay, all right. I see it. I I see what uh, why they would want him to win. I guess. Uh, the problem, the interesting part is. He actually doesn't have like anything particular, except, uh, especially from Stone Cold's perspective. He's supposed to be super popular and stuff. Fans don't want him to win though. I'm just going to simulate. That's all I'm going to do, boys. I'm going to simulate. I'm going to let the AI decide who wins because this matchup doesn't mean anything to me. I just want uh, I just want the AI to decide who wins. So simulate. Let's see. Ricky wins the match. All right. Ricky Steamboat gets a win, boys. Four and a half star. Really good, really good, really good. So I'm happy with that. Definitely happy with that. Uh, that's gonna upgrade everything right here. That's perfect uh, even more. Last one, main event package right here. We're gonna hype up the main event. Not too good of a package, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess it's not very popular sting in Ric Flair for some reason. It's not pre very popular, boys. But let's get it done. The fans want Ric Flair to win. Now, is there a reason to that? I guess he's super popular right now, right? Yeah, he is super popular. That's an interesting one. I don't know if I want to go for him or not. Uh, I think I can do the screw job finish, but you can only do one uh, st uh, like a, st a special finish per uh, pay-per-view. Otherwise, it's going to start hurting uh, your thing. It's going to go red instead of green for screw jobs. I don't want to do that. Uh, I think they could be having a really good match by themselves. I think uh, what we're going to end up doing, I guess, is just go for Ric Flair. Or maybe I'm just going to simulate. I don't really care. The only one I'm going to force myself to do is the one I'm the, the, the one wrestler I'm going to be pushing, right? So uh, I'm going to be push. Uh, I'm not pushing any of these guys. So let's just simulate really quick. And Ric Flair gets, uh, gets the win. It's a pretty good match. It's a four and a half uh, match. Oh, there we go. Four and a half star, boys. 50 of hype overall for Barely Legal. The pay-per-view went up big time. We had some really good matches for this one. Uh, so that's really good. 71 of hype. It went from 4 of popularity of hype to six, uh, 61. So our popularity for our feuds, boys, are going up. It's going up big time. And now, if we take a look at the entire event, it's a 4-star event. So it's not the biggest, like the strongest event ever, but it is... Definitely a, a four-star event and stuff like that. So that's a pretty good one. It's a better one than last uh, last one for sure. Barely legal went up. Don't know um, how did it doesn't show up. Oh, there we go. It went down as well. XP though. 
if it goes down, that is not good. Extreme. So our our, our actual um, promotion is going down, though. I don't know how that's possible. We're getting a lot of good stuff. We we lost um, almost two k fans. How is that possible, though? We're getting some good pay per views. We didn't have the good ones compared to. I guess we had a, as good of a pay per view as the WWF. I guess they lost a twenty two k fans though. WCW uh, won 33. Wow. That's a big game by them. Yeah, I don't know, boys. I think it's going to be it's going to be hard to beat these two big guns, right? It's going to be easy to beat these two, the the, the two below ones, us, but it's going to be very hard to beat the WWF or WCW. Uh, we're going to have to really work it out big time. So I think uh, I think we're good on our side. We had a uh, in my ha in my mind a really good pay per view. Oh, there it is, Miss Elizabeth. I just got her, and she wants to get uh, go somewhere else in Combat Zone Wrestling of all places. They want a hundred. They're willing to give me a hundred and ten points. I'm going to refuse that. I just got her. I'm not. I'm. I'm not about to to let that go in right now. That's not going to happen. Uh, doing the clown interested. So I hear your element approached. Wait, is Dwing the Clown? Dwing the Clown is actually one of, one of my uh, people. That's interesting. Hold on, manage staff. Dwing the Clown is one of my guys. No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay, so Dwing the Clown is one of the wrestlers uh, interested. Okay, I was about to say, man, if Dwink is one of those uh, of those scouts or something, that's kind of interesting. All right, so Eddie is out for eight months. All right, so we're going to vacate his title, boys. We're going to vacate his title. I don't have a choice here. He's not going to be able to to actually defend his title for eight months. I can't have that. So we're going to have to go into titles right here. We're going to go into World Television Championship. There we go, Eddie. He's been champion for two months. He, uh, he was a really good champion, but already got uh, injured for eight months. So we're not going to see him for a while, boys. So I guess we're going to have to vacate the title. I could bring him back, you know. I could literally bring him back uh, right away by doing the cheats and stuff. But I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. I would kind of be uh, cheats a little bit. right? I want to use it for retired play wrestlers or wrestlers that are dead or something, maybe. We lost uh, a wrestler right here. That is not good. A really good one at that. Uh, up in my uh, mid carder, the best one for that matter. Uh, per Mr. Perfect. He is... Okay, so we got like one, two, three, four, five main eventers right now. We're doing pretty all right. We still have Trish Stratus, a low main mid carder. I'm trying to bring her up to an upper mid carder at least uh, be, uh, before July, right? Which is going to be our next big event. So we're going to hop on in right here. We don't have anything else going on. I'm still training with uh, Miss Elizabeth right here. Go dashboard. Yeah, still two months of training for Miss Elizabeth. She's training on our charisma and everything, which is exactly what we need to uh, train her uh, on, just to so she's a better uh, manager and stuff like that. So we're gonna book our stuff right here. Hardcore Heaven is not a very popular one, it looks like. So it's just a normal pay per view. We're just gonna do this right here uh, from the bat. Get these things uh, going. So now, do we want a multi man match? Maybe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if we want a multi-man match or not, boys. We got a triple threat last time. We got a 1v1 this time around. Uh, last time in the p last pay-per-view. Now we need, I think, something different. So we're going to go for a four-way, I guess, right here. So let's see what we got. Uh, who's got the most amount of wins? Who's got the best record? We're obviously going to go for Ricky. He's got the best record. He's got a good, decent uh, record enough uh, as it is. So... There we go. We're just going to do that. That's going to be a fatal four-way between these guys. Um, next up, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a triple threat between these three guys for the title. All right? For uh, the, the television ch uh, title, I guess. And uh, the newly vacated, uh, vacated one. So we're going to get that done. And the last match that's left, uh, Trish Stratus and Kurt Enning uh, facing off against each other. So that's basically what's going to happen. Uh, we got uh, a lot of stuff going on, though. Uh, do I want to get gimmick matches? Add gimmick matches to these ones? I don't know if I want to. I gotta be honest, boys. I don't know if I want to or not. Uh, I think I might need to uh, for some of them. Uh, maybe uh, this one right here. 
this seems like a really interesting one we've got a unsanction that i did last time so it would be a ladder match let me get into it let me do a ladder match i don't want to put chris benoit in rob van dam and jake roberts i don't think i want them to have like a special one or anything i think i might want them to just have a submission match well actually you know what yeah let's do it submission match between these guys this should be all right so submission match uh between these three guys and trish Stratus versus scared inning they're not gonna get any special sp stipulation the only way they uh they get a special stipulation is by actually um getting into a feud or being in a feud and stuff like that all right but if it's a multi-man match i'm uh guaranteed it's, gu it's going to be guaranteed for me to have a special uh s like uh segment or whatever so uh get a, a segment promo let's get that feud up uh a feud going big time all right we're definitely going to do that feud uh, so that's going to be done uh, we also want to do the main event as well so let's figure out where the main event package is. Uh, it's right here. So there we go. So we're doing the feud package, main event package afterwards. And uh, that's going to boost up this uh, match right here to the max, boys. It's really going to boost it up a lot. It's going to be super popular. Hopefully it's going to work out though. So yeah, I'm ready. Let's go into it, boys. It's as simple as that. It's really simple. You go very fast for these ones. So hardcore Evan is the next pay-per-view boys and uh let's see what we got so we got uh rick flair they want rick flair to win obviously again they want jake to win the title they, it seems like the fans do like jake roberts quite a lot boys and kurt enning they want uh mr perfect to win that's not gonna happen that is definitely not gonna happen uh i'm not gonna let that happen the trish Stratus has gotta win all right so i'm gonna keep that in mind for all of them I'm actually going to go ahead and enter it now. So there we go. Minus five hype for this match though. Not a lot of hype at all. It's actually people are not interested in it at all. I think it's because it's two heels facing up against each other. Yeah, it is. It's because it's two heels. Not really working out too great. I can't really do anything. Switch alliances. Oh, wait. What is that? What does that even mean? Throw the towel. Oh, is that because of the manager? The manager can have some stipulations and stuff. Oh, that's interesting. I, I kind of like that. What would that do? That would give plus one rating boost. That would give rating boost uh, staleness for the feud. Loser, loser has manager. Winner has no manager. Okay, so that would mean that she switches side, right? Okay, so if Mr. Perfect wins or something like that, or if he loses, she's going to switch over to him. I don't think I want that. I want her uh, to keep uh, her side. Uh, I want her to, to stay with Trish for now. So throw in the towel. What would that do? A manager throws in the towel for their client, causing them to lose. Uh, I can't do that either. I can't do that either, boys. It would be fun. I mean, it would get a, a rating boost, but I want to I wanna get a loss for Trish Stratus. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I really don't want to do that. I want to get uh, an actual win for Trish Stratus right here. So I'm just going to give him the, the win clean uh, clean up like that. And since they're pretty good to both of them, it ups the, the thing. So they're now, it's a four-star uh, match right here. So it's pretty good. It's all right. It's an all right match. Uh, we got uh, Trish right here. So Kurt ending popularity is going down a little bit uh, for these losses, but that's fine by me. Uh, I'm only interested in, uh, in uh, making Trish win matches right here. I want her popularity to go up, boys, which it is right now. Uh, television championship match. They wanted Jake Roberts to win that one. Now, I don't know why they want him to win. The thing is, uh, Rob Van Dam is pretty unhappy right now. So is Jake Roberts, though. They're both unhappy, kind of. So, yeah, it's it can go either way. Since the fans want Jake Roberts to win, though, kind of tempted to just give them what they want. So I'll just give them what they want for now. I'll give them Jake Roberts. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's what they wanted. Uh, there's been some blood in the match. Uh, Rob Van Dam uh, had some blood on him, I guess. So that up the, the the match as well. Another four-star match. We could do a lot better. I don't know why we're not doing better matches right here. I mean, it's decent. Uh, four-star is just fine. But I, I would have thought, you know, we would have more five stars and stuff. 
It doesn't help when your um, wrestlers are unhappy and stuff. Got to make sure they stay happy and all. All right, so let's go into the feud package right here. Best in the world. Very good feud package. Five star. That's really going to help us out big time. Main event package. Let's see. Four and a half star. Pretty good. Pretty good too. Everything's going up, boys, in terms of uh, the, the, the hype and stuff. So 50 of hype now for the main event. Uh, for the pay-per-view in itself 111 have hype for this main event itself that's a really good now they didn't want rick flair to retain uh, make sure that nobody's unhappy not yet uh, stone cold is about to be unhappy though he's about to be boy so we got to be careful about that one uh, we don't have anything uh, any special finishes we can do since it's a multi-man match so i am just gonna end up i guess doing the the regular switcher rule. I think I'm just going to go for what the fans want. Obviously, they want uh, Ric Flair to win. Uh, so let's give uh, them exactly what they want. There we go. Give them what they want. And they like it, boys. So two, four, five, five and a half star pay-per-view uh, or main event. That's a really good main event. That's really going to up our standards for this pay-per-view. Uh, fantastic right there. And with that, I think that basically helps out everybody, right? Now, minus three of overness for Sting, okay. Plus five of popularity. Everybody's going up in popularity, though. It's just the overness, I guess, for some, uh, for Sting, is going down. But uh, for everybody else, uh, uh, Stone Cold, and especially Ric Flair, it's going up. So that's, uh, that's really good for them. Anything in particular that needs to be noted? Not really. Everything's going up in terms of matches enough and all and the pay-per-view itself is the probably the best pay-per-view we had so far so almost a five-star pay-per-view boys that's really good that's really good i like that uh do we have i, I want to see really quick our pay-per-view where is it rank we gained 16k fans from that pay-per-view that's really good boys now czw had a lot more uh, in tendency than us for somehow they had 42k but they lost a lot of fans though yeah, as long as I win fans, I'm good. I don't know. Uh, I guess the, the, this pay-per-view was really not that popular for 36k, boys. Not that popular. The same thing as uh, Judgment Day. Uh, WWF fans are are really leaving the area. They're going all to uh, WCW's side. That's very interesting. All right, well, we're, do we're done with that pay-per-view. Anything else? Popular Magazine covered our company recently. So we got an overness for the company. That's really good. Uh, Coco Beware is interested in us. And future superstar Beth Phoenix could be available, boys, in, uh, in the free agency and stuff like that. Uh, which we are going to start looking. First off, we still have seven months for Eddie Guerrero. Still have another month of training for, uh, I guess, Miss Elizabeth right here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into Indies now. And we are going to do our due diligence. We're going to see who, who do we want to sign next. I'm thinking we need to sign a uh, wrestler, a uh, wrestler, a woman wrestlers, right? We need to sign women wrestlers because um, I only have one of them. I think I only have Trish. Yeah, I don't have Lita right now or anything. I only have Trish. I need to sign a couple of uh, women wrestlers. Electra seems like a nice one. I don't, I don't know who that one is. Dull worker though. I'm not going for there. Uh, there's Jazz. I think she's a pretty good wrestler risk taker as well she, she can do uh multi she's gonna do special matches and stuff as well that's really good uh she's not doesn't have a lot of charisma but we can work on that i think i i i need to go for lita right i should go for lita boys because obviously you can't have trish Stratus on your company without having lita on so i need to go for lita first i think that's the best option is to go for lita Miss Elizabeth in the in the uh, Trisha's uh, corner and stuff. That would make for a fantastic feud and everything. So I'm gonna do that. She's a workhorse as well. So hot matches are gonna be great. Big match specialists or pay-per-view matches, right? That's really good. Natural charisma, risk taker, Griff gifted ac acrobat. She's gonna be a really good one for us. So let's give her 250. She's gonna accept that, just like that, boys. Boom. So that's gonna be our new uh, newest uh, recruit for the next uh, pay-per-view right there. That's that's who uh, we're going to go after right here. Big time. Absolutely. So if we go back to uh, roster now. We're still working on, on Trish Stratus. She's going to get her last push. 
Uh, I don't know how far she is. She is a 570 of popularity right now. Uh, how far is she from Chris Benoit? Chris is in the 600s. I think you gotta be at least 650 of popularity in order to be in the upper mid carders. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be get Trish up there. I hope so. At least it would be good, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. So Hostile City Showdown uh, seems like a pretty decent pay per view. P uh, people are kind of intrigued uh, by it quite a lot. So we can up on it right away. We're now uh, going to do the inverted side. It's going to be a 1v1 for the main event. So 1v1 for the main event. Sting. And uh, uh, before I do anything, I want to make sure the stellness, where is it at? Stellness is pretty good. So we can keep the uh, the, the feud going uh, for a while uh, longer right here, boys. So that's good. Uh, afterwards, it's uh, going to be a fatal four-way for sure. It would be a fatal four-way. No, it would be a triple threat. Yeah, it would be a triple threat. So that's what I'm going to end up doing right here. I don't have enough wrestlers to do a six-man uh, match or something like that. Don't have enough for that. So just going to uh, do triple uh, first uh, 1v1s, triple threats, and fatal fours until I get enough wrestlers so I can do six uh, six uh, uh, way, I guess. So right now, just a triple threat between these guys once again. Boom, just like that. Fatal four-way between these uh, guys right here. So that's going to be it. And since Tri uh, Trish is getting the push, uh, Jake is not going to last long as the champion, it looks like. It's going to be Trish, the new champ, boys. She's going to get a title right here. Good for her, man. I'm, ha I'm going to be happy about her. All right, so that's that's that. Uh, now we got we got this, which has, um, I guess, gimmick, uh, big-time gimmick uh, stuff. So it's got a feud. I think I am definitely want to add a gimmick match to that. Last time we went for submission, that was the last one we did. A uh, brawl is not too good. A uh, pull is not good. Tables and three fights is pretty good, but I want to go for something special, uh, since it's uh, a special one right here. So we're gonna go for Iron Man. We're gonna go for an Iron Man match right here between uh, Ric Flair and Sting, boys. It's gonna be fantastic. So that's what we're gonna do. I think I'm gonna do a tables match, boys. Definitely gonna do a tables match. And afterwards, uh, over here, we're gonna do a uh, street fight match just like that so we're doing a street fight and uh that should be decent enough i think we're going to be good uh with that yeah there we go so uh i'm going to do that right here it's going to be a pretty simple one we're going to do um i can't do another one of these for the feud and stuff like that so i'm just going to do like always i'm going to go for the main event package all right there we go just like that we're going to get the main event package right here and I guess we don't have anything else going on. So I should probably go right here for like a single person. I could do event or something. Now I'm going to do event. Yeah, I'm just going to do an event. There we go. Just the next event boosted up and stuff like that. So we're going to up on in. We got this done. So we're in the June Hostile City Showdown. Seems like a pretty interesting one, right? Uh, let's see what we got. So they want Ric Flair once again to win. They really like Ric Flair. Stone Cold. They want Stone Cold to win the tables match. And a street fight match. They want Rob Van Dam to uh, to win it. I could do that, but I think it's Trish, right? I'm pushing her. I'm still pushing her. So the next event, we're hopping up the next event. Five star. Really good. Eat Wave's going to get a lot of boost from that. Uh, next up, the ECW Televisa Television Championship. We're going to get Trish Stratus or win. She's going to get the title, boys. Getting a huge boost from that. Congrats, Trish. You're now the new champ. Now, fans are not too happy about that. I guess it's a three and a half star, right? Not too good of a match itself. But um, I think it's uh, especially because the, the the title itself just went down between a month, right? The, the champion didn't last long enough. So I guess that's why it's that that's why they're not too happy. But, uh, I mean, Jake got his, he got what he, he deserved, I guess. He, he got the title. I mean, it's just the fact that Trish was my uh, the, girl, the girl I was pushing right now. So that's pretty much it. Next up, triple threat between these three, uh, these three gentlemen. They wanted Stone Cold to win. So we're going to give them what they want. Unless Kurt Henning is not happy at all right now, though. Kurt Henning is truly not happy. I got to give him a win or something. Gotta give him a win at some point, boys. He's not happy at all right now. 
They want Stone Cold to win. Let's just give them what they want. Give the fans what they want, boys. Yeah. You gotta give the fans what they want. Otherwise, it's just gonna go bad. It's gonna go bad if I don't give them what they want. So, full of action. Really good match. To four, five, five and a half star paper uh, or a match right here. Really good one. Uh, makes up for the first one. So, yeah, you gotta give the fans what they want. Uh, if I'm not pushing uh, somebody in particular, even though uh, per Mr. Perfect, like he's really starting to lose it right now. Feel like he's starting to uh, not be too happy. He keeps losing matches, right? It is what it is, right? It's that's just how it goes. Main event package, really good. Four and a half or almost five star uh, package right there. That's really good. For 98 of hype for the main event right here. Let's see what we can do for it. Can we do something particular? So they want a Ric Flair to win, right? That's what they wanted. So I'll give them exactly what they want right here. Let's still give them that. Uh, we can do the screw job finish right here. So that's what we're going to do. Screw job finish. Ric Flair wins, boys. And uh, because of the screw job, it ups it to a five star uh, main event match. Really good. Really good. So we got another really great pay per view right there. Just like that, boys. And uh, anything in particular? Best in the world. Ric Flair boosting his chance to have hot matches and segments. Good. 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 Really good, boys. Three fights went down. Decrease for the uh, match effect decreased somehow. I guess because the match wasn't that good. I gotta keep in mind of the wrestlers that are in the actual match, right? Uh, some of them might not be too good with actual uh, street matches or like uh, violent matches and stuff like that. So I gotta keep that in mind. Pay-per-view itself. Oh, uh, die far best pay-per-view. Five star and a quarter or something like that. Ooh, that's a really good. That's a perfect, more than perfect pay-per-view. Fantastic, boys. And Hostile Showdown went up. Let's see if our uh, actual promotion went up right here. It did. It did go up, boys. And now we're reputation of four right here for the uh, for our, our promotion. We're just keep going up. We're gonna, we just got to get like really good pay-per-views like these every single time. And we should be all right. We should be all right. So that's fantastic. And we now gain 32K fans. That is fantastic, boys. We had a really good pay-per-view. Uh, WCW gained 50k fans, though. S minus 78k fans for WWF. I don't know what they're doing over there, but they're losing everything. Like, they're losing a lot of people really fast. Soon enough, it's going to be us, the top two. WWF's got to keep it together. But we're getting fans, boys. We're doing really good right now. Uh, Lita accepted. We got uh, a new goal or something. We got some uh, some stuff. So Lita is ready. Miss Elizabeth has finished her training. Uh, we got some uh, development right here in goal reward. Okay, so we got uh, uh, we did what Paul Heyman told us to do. Speaking of Paul Heyman, boys, I kind of want him to be a manager. Kind of want him to come down here into his own promotion and be a manager or something. That would be really good. Like be a manager of Stone Cold or something. That would be great. Okay, so Lita is uh, the next one so we were we uh were i guess doing a stuff with miss elizabeth we trained her charisma she's up now so that's really good in charisma uh, i don't think i want to train her too much what about lita does she need to be trained right now yeah i don't well yeah she does need some uh charisma we don't have anything else uh, i think what is uh, lita at she's a face that's perfect by me because we got a, a heal for Trish Stratus and stuff. So can I can I get something right here? Say uh, step up. So get the owner of the company or a manager to step in the ring uh, to the ring and wrestle. Well, I don't want to him to wrestle per se, but um, I want him to actually be a manager. So I kind of want him to do that. Step up. Let's use it. Owner, Miss Elizabeth. Let's uh let's do the owner boys, let's do the owner. Now I don't know I I, I think the owner is Paul Heyman. Yeah, Paul Heyman. There we go. He's now able to go into the ring. So we're gonna do we activated this boys. I wanted him to be able to be in the ring. Now I I don't exactly want him to wrestle or anything. He's super popular and all. We're actually gonna um, we're gonna get rid of this thing. Resign. There we go. Resign and prevent him from being an actual you know uh part timer and stuff. I want them, uh, him to be that. So, Polyman is back. Now, it's not going to be 
He's actually have a he has a lot of charisma. He has a lot of charisma, boys. And work rate's pretty good. He could be an actual really good wrestler. Somehow Paul Heyman's a great wrestler. That's crazy. I'm not gonna use him as a wrestler though. I want to transition him to uh, a manager. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's always we're also already working on. Okay, so I can replace. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll replace that. We gotta transition him. Yeah, we gotta transition Paul Heyman. It's gonna take a month only to transition him into a manager, but once it's done, it's gonna be fantastic. Paul Heyman is a man. He's the best manager of all time, boy. So we gotta have him in, in that spot right now. We got him as available. I think that's uh, all there is right now. So we're gonna end it right here. Uh, next uh, video, we're gonna work on everything. Work on uh, on all the everything that we got right now. The next pay per view, big event and stuff like that. See, we're gonna start pushing Lita, of course, because she's our new wrestler, added uh, wrestler into the roster. So we're gonna be pushing her now. Uh, Trisha's push is coming to an end. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.